Welcome back to Anointed to Bling, everyone. It's Rain here once again with another installment to my wedding vlog series. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you very much. I hope that you'll stick around and like what you see and maybe even subscribe. If it's not your first time, welcome back. I appreciate you for visiting me once again and for sticking it out with me as I create all of these wonderful pieces for my wedding. You guessed it, today we are talking about this stunning vase that you see here in front of you that I was able to create for just about about five dollars so if you want to know how to create this vase stay tuned for the tutorial coming up right now but I decided to create something nice for these counters to incorporate this. So by way of supplies, I have my hot glue gun and hot glue sticks, Mod Podge, my paintbrush, my scissors, and I have these uh, two planter uh, pots that I found at the 99 cent store. They were white originally. I spray painted them as you'll see in just a moment using a gloss black or matte black spray paint. Either one works and it still maintains the shine. And then because I'm making two vases, I bought four of the taller uh, vases from the Dollar Tree. Now these are a little bit hard to find, at least here in California. Normally they have the shorter, larger vases. So you may have to go to a couple of Dollar Trees to find these uh, lengthier ones. I like these because these uh, give this dramatic look, the height that I initially envisioned. Um, wanting about a 36 to 40 inch vase. So these are good for that, but you can certainly go smaller if you would like. Again, this is just my personal preference. And again, since I'm making two, I purchased the four. So here's me spray painting the balls. Now I do know better than to do this without gloves. Don't ask me why I did this. I'm sure it was late at night and I wanted to get it done quickly. I wanted to see the finished product. So yes, I spent some time getting that off my hands, but you definitely want to use gloves when you spray paint these. One of the things I love about leftovers is you can always use them for another project. And I'm taking that same lace that I use for my champagne flutes and I am applying it here to these vases and just showing you here where I'm going to apply that lace. It's gonna to be to the top of each of the vases, doing that by tacking it after measuring it with my hot glue. And then I'm gonna go back in and Mod Podge it to give it a really secure hold.
embellishments are always good for projects like this, so I decided to take some of that leftover bling strips that I have and using my E6000 I am applying that to the edging of that lace. I'm going to do a row of three and then I'm going to do a row of one at the very top of the vase just to tie this into those champagne glasses and other things I have going on in the decor with the wedding. It's always really good to keep even those little bitty strips because you never know how you're going to need them later and I thought these really enhanced this vase and made it look really nice. There's the end result of that. This is where it really gets fun for me, the challenge of building these vases. So you definitely want to have on hand a leveler if you have one. I'm just taking that epoxy and I'm mixing that right on the glass here. I'm very, very familiar with how the epoxy works. If you're not, you may want to do this on a plastic plate or something like that to mix it. But those two liquids just get mixed together. And I'm putting a little bit also on the top of that candle holder just to get a nice suction so that things will stay in place and not slide. And you really do want to watch this as you apply these. One, to make sure that it's really centered and that it's not randomly sliding because with any glue you use other than hot glue, it does have a tendency to do that. So it takes about five to 10 minutes for the epoxy to dry completely. Uh, if you're not comfortable, you may wanna let it dry for a little bit longer. Again, I'm just really familiar with how to use the epoxy. So what you're gonna see now is me continuing the process of building this particular vase. And again, you just wanna be mindful of using your leveler to make sure that things are even so that you don't end up with a leaning tower of pizza when you're done. because it didn't look bad the way it was. I just thought it needed it. Um, so I used my E6000 to apply that. Now I didn't use the hot glue gun for that because what I have found is if you want things to last longer, a more permanent hold is better. And with the hot glue, things tend to kind of peel off over time with the wear and tear. And so if you plan to make this and sell it, um, you know, or just have a long-term use for it, I always think that a permanent, a more permanent bonding agent is better for that especially because these are things that you're going to have to clean which means you're going to have to get wet so if you want a really good hold i definitely recommend the e6000 or a permanent bonding agent like it to apply your blame you can do with this project. I hate that iMovie boxes out the frame, but I think you get a gist of it. I added some varying tea light holders and a little boa that I got at the Dollar Tree just to kind of see what it might look like. Um, but I love this project so much, I'm actually going to mix and match the vases for my reception. This just came out super, super stunning to me. The possibilities are endless. You can do a candle, a floating candle, put a candle in the bottom of it, put marbles in it. You can have so much fun with this particular project. I hope you liked it as much as I did, and I truly appreciate you for tuning in. 
to another installment of my wedding vlog series. Until next time, next project. If you make this, definitely tag me. I'd love to see your work. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You guys have an amazing day. Be blessed, and I'll see you again soon.